Hey friends, it's Jeremy Gilchrist. I am in Aruba. And I came out to the patio this morning, or balcony, whatever you want to call it, we're going to see, and believe it or not, I thought about something uh, called regret. And I think it's something I should cover because I spent a good five years of my life uh, uh, disregarding my emotions and, and I regret a lot. And when I think of the word regret, I think of the opposite, which is usually uh, uh, feeling compelled to do something. And I want to tell a short story so you get it because it's really cool. Um, I have family in Cleveland, Ohio. And uh, a couple years ago when my cousin Max was only, I think, two years old maybe, and um, he was living at my, his uh, grandparents' house. And because they, they were in the middle of moving. So Max, my two-year-old cousin, is living at his grandparents' house with his mom and dad, his grandparents, and actually on the other side of the house, his great-grandma lives there because she's in her late 80s. Well, she felt compelled to go learn CPR in her late 80s with some of her, some of her buddies. They went and learned CPR. And literally a week later, she's in her side of the house, her little apartment, and they, she hears Max, my two-year-old cousin's father, screaming to Max to wake up. And she ran in the kitchen, and her great-grandson, who's two years old, Max, was laying on the floor, and he was blue. Pale, pale white, and he had blue, you know, in, in his coloring in his skin. And his father didn't know what to do. So Max, two-year-old, is passed out. Father doesn't know what to do, and his 89-year-old grandmother literally does CPR on her two-year-old grandson and saves him. 89-year-old grandma does CPR on her two-year-old son and sa two-year-old grandson and saves him. Point being, she felt compelled to do something. And that was go learn CPR with her friends because she wanted something to do and she never did it her whole life. And one of her answers was she wanted to learn something new. I mean, it made the newspapers and everything. So what's the point of the story? It's the great grandma felt compelled to learn something new, challenge herself, and the result of that was she saved her two-year-old grandson, great grandson. Who knows how the story could end, you know, if that didn't happen. I mean, can you imagine? So, in telling you that, I want to tell you this. When you feel compelled to do something, it might not be, you know, save someone's life or anything else, but, you know, you've got to follow your instincts. Trust who you are as a human. You know, God gave us those abilities. Follow them. Live with them. So, I want to end like this. If you like the video, click like, share it. If there's certain people you know that need to see it, right? Test yourself, test the waters, and go out and, and, and feel compelled every day to do something and go do it. And I'll end like this. Have you ever had a chance in your life where you felt uh, compelled to do something in a situation you didn't do it and you regret, right? Or maybe you felt compelled and you did do it. Either way, load up this video with comments of when maybe you felt compelled and you didn't and how you're going to change that in the future or when you felt compelled and you did and the results so people can hear it. I'd love to hear your story. So thanks for tuning in. I'm going to the beach.